Welcome to PA Timber Gifts. Today we are going to do our long-term review of my Tika T3X. I've done a hot barrel test on this and you can see how accurate it is. Um, firing an excessive amount of rounds in a short amount of time. Still had a pretty decent pattern. Check out that video. It has 37,000 views. Um, got some bad comments on there, but the good comments outweigh the bad comments. Definitely a very interesting rifle. It is uh, extremely accurate. Um, there were some things on the gun that I'm really not that happy with. My scope I really like. This is a Vortex Diamondback 3 to 9 by 40. I have a ballistic plex reticle on this. The loophole mounts on here, which at some point in time they are on backwards. <laughs> the front is in the back is in the front, and the front is the back. I guess I didn't have enough coffee when I did that, but uh, I did not change them, and I still have a one MOA at 100 yards, so it still shoots really well. Only two people picked up on that at a 37,000 views. Thank you for these two comments. Still shoots fine now. Okay, let's go over. Let's go over our, our Tika here. It has a cool camo stock. It has a hammer forged barrel with flutes in it, which makes it very, very accurate. The barrel is very rigid. It has a nitrate coating on it to prevent rust. What do I like about my Tika T3X? Well, it's light. It shoots very accurately. Uh, it can take a, a lot of abuse. That's about it. I wish I had better things to say, but in the future I will probably go trade this rifle up for another Savage 110 in some shape or form. Okay, things I am not that ha things I did not care for on this rifle. Number one would be the stock. Things things I think Tika could have did better with this rifle. This could be a really awesome gun, but unfortunately. It is not. Out of a scale of 1 to 10, uh, even though it looks cool, I would only give it a 7. So, here we go. Going to get lots of bad comments for this. Plastic stock, extremely noisy. I have a lot of tape on the stock. Because it's very slippery and noisy, if it touches anything, it will scare your deer away or bear. Whichever you plan on harvesting with this rifle. Plastic magazine does not like to stay in the bottom of the rifle. If you do not seat it properly, it will pop out. And uh, I would prefer a metal magazine over a molded plastic one. Uh, this is a really cheap magazine, considering how much I spent on this rifle. Okay, that's two for two. Uh, what else can we look at here? You can look at this. The finish on my stock is peeling off. This came off last year, so I'll have a gouge in that. And we can look at the barrel here. Uh, when I put this back in my gun safe, I made sure that I cleaned it very thoroughly. So when I pulled this out to wipe it down with oil again, I had a lot of brown discoloration in the flutes in the barrel and on the finish, basically like from here up. And it was spotless when I put it away. There was no moisture on it, and uh, I thoroughly soaked the outside of it with oil. But for some reason, I got a lot of brown residue on the barrel, which I'm going to guess was some form of rust based on the coating. So I'm not very happy about that. It shoots really well. <laughs> I can say that a few more times. It is very accurate. Uh, the biggest problem with this is it's an ultralight rifle, which I'm not used to having an ultralight rifle. Yes, this is awesome to carry considering my other gun weighed about 10 pounds. But it does not point very well unless you have it in a tripod or leaning against a tree. And today I had a big eight point run past me. And uh, I was on him coming down the mountain. He had his head down. And as usual, he pulled a fast one on me. He went behind a magic tree and vanished. He never came out the other side. But he was about 150 yards away. And the problem is this rifle is so light it doesn't point very well and it it does not balance so an offhand shot with this i probably would have missed and uh i probably would have hit a tree or something i probably wouldn't have connected with the buck anyhow but i was trying my best despite how light this rifle is so there are some thoughts on my long-term review on my tika t3x um, 
I'm probably going to do another hot barrel test on this rifle um, after the season's over. And we'll talk about some more stuff. As far as firearms, thanks for watching PA Timber Ghost. Leave me know your thoughts. If you own this firearm, the Tika T3X and Ultralight with a cool camo finish and a fluted barrel. As always, give this video a like. It helps other people see this video. Hit that subscribe button to help my channel. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching PA Timber Goose.